Welcome to our lecture online. Now here, this example is very similar to the one we just did. Instead, an A, we have an A square. Instead of a B, we have a B square. And the methodology is going to be very similar. Again, we're going to use trig substitution. But instead, having the square root of an A and the square root of B over here, we simply have an A and a B. And the hypotenuse becomes the square root of A square plus B square times X squared. So again, we're going to relate the angle to the sides and to the hypotenuse to try and make substitutions ready to integrate those instead. And so what we can do here is say that the tangent of the angle theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. And if we solve this for x, we can say that x is equal to a over b times the tangent of theta. And if we take the derivative of both sides, we can say that dx is equal to a over b times the secant square of theta d theta. And we can also write this as a over b times 1 over the cosine square of theta d theta, because you'll see that that will be a better form to use when we substitute. We also need something for the denominator. So what we can do here is write that the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then if we square both sides and solve for this, we can say that a squared plus b squared x squared is going to be equal to a squared divided by the cosine square of theta. And so we can substitute this and this into our integral to see what we end up with. So this becomes equal to the integral of dx. And dx is a over b, which I can pull outside the integral sign, a over b times 1 over the cosine square of theta d theta divided by the denominator, which we can substitute a square divided by cosine square of theta. And then you can see that the cosine square of theta can be canceled out right here. So, and then the 1 over a square can come outside. So this is a over b times 1 over a squared times the integral of d theta. And of course, that's a really easy integral to integrate. So we can cancel out the a's. So this becomes equal to 1 over ab times theta plus a constant of integration. And now we have to substitute back in what theta is equal to. So let's go over here. And we can write that theta is equal to the arctangent of bx over a. Substitute that back in here. So this becomes equal to 1 over ab times the arctangent of bx over a plus a constant of integration. And so using the very same technique as we did before, we get a very similar answer for a similar example. And that's how it's done.